Well, former Lexington Chief of Police Ronnie Baston hopes that position will help boost him into the mayor's office. Haley Harmon is at Baston's campaign headquarters as the results begin to roll in here soon. Good evening, Kevin and Nancy. Talk about a polar opposite vibe in this race as opposed to the Bar McGrath matchup. This race isn't so much who do you like, it's who do you like more. Both Lexington mayoral candidates are well known and well liked, staples of this community, and are so similar on so many of the issues. Here at Ronnie Baston's campaign headquarters at the Fraternal Order of Police, things are picking up in the anticipation department. Baston and his team are waiting to hear if all their campaigning since the start of this year will pay off in the end. The former chief of police in Lexington and public safety commissioner has been touting his more than 30 years in law enforcement as a big reason why people should vote for him as the new head of Lexington government. He's also scored several big endorsements, including those of two former Lexington mayors, Teresa Isaac and Jim Newberry, as well as unions for Lexington police and fire. He tells us if he wins, he will throw his efforts from day one into issues including public safety and school safety. And those are things I've been talking about. I'm very specific with it. I have ideas. I have a lot of passion, energy, and I want to get, uh, get Lexington to moving forward. Now on his website today, right across the top in big bold letters, Baston reminded voters that the polls were open today from 6 a.m. until 6 p.m. and that if you were in line by 6 p.m., then election officials had to let you vote. As we know, 6 has now come and gone in the last few minutes. So no doubt Baston and his team are hoping those that are still in line are waiting to cast their ballots for him. That's something, though, we will have to wait and see if it is indeed true. More coverage from Baston's campaign headquarters tonight in our election special at 7. For now, though, we are covering the news live in Lexington from the LEX 18 mobile newsroom. Back to you. Well, meanwhile, Linda Gorton is waiting, too, and hoping her experience as vice mayor will help her win the city's top job. And Angie Bevan continues our Decision 2018 team coverage from Gorton's headquarters, the old courthouse downtown. Angie? Good evening to you, Kevin and Nancy. Well, the band has started playing here. Flower arrangements have been delivered. The food's here and the bar is stocked. So this party is ready to get started. And mayoral candidate Linda Gorton did just arrive moments ago. The crowd is growing here as well with family, friends and supporters. And also in this room, you can feel the anticipation is building as polls have closed and we await results. For Linda Gorton, stepping into the role of mayor of Lexington feels like the natural next step. She was once a district council member and then a council member at large and then vice mayor. In the May primaries, Gorton won with a convincing amount of the votes and we will see how that plays out in the general election tonight. She and her opponent, Ronnie Baston, are similar when it comes to issues on which they campaigned and the challenges Lexington faces, which they say they will tackle first, like the opioid epidemic, public safety, planning, and growing Lexington's job market. Gorton told us earlier today she was thrilled to see the voter turnout and she hopes it works in her favor. I'm ready to be mayor and my experience shows that. So I'm hoping I get lots of votes today. And also today, she told us just like she campaigned on, she said the first thing she wants to tackle is the opioid crisis. Now, for Lexington's next mayor, they will officially take office the beginning of January. We'll have much more from here in downtown Lexington from Linda Gorton's campaign watch party coming up in our special at 7 o'clock. For now, we're covering the news live in downtown Lexington. Nancy Kevin, back to you. Lee Harmon and Angie Bevan working the mayor's race for us.